stand here as priests to try to encourage you, the people, to live an Orthodox Christian life pleasing to God. And we many times, and it's beautiful to hear the children chip as well, but we many times don't think about why don't we live a good Orthodox Christian life? What is keeping us from living that faith? And one possibility that I could offer is that we might not have had that moment, that epiphany, where something made us realize who God is and the role He can play in our lives if we allow Him to. In today's Gospel reading, there was a parable, not a parable, but it held an account of the centurion who asked Christ to heal his servant, for he was sick. And in this moment, the centurion had an epiphany. He realized who Jesus Christ was, because he confessed to Christ that he is not worthy for Christ to enter into his home. That he realizes that God is the authority of all of creation. And just as he is a general in the army, can say to his soldiers, go there, and they go, or to come here, and they come. So to Christ, with one word, with one breath, could heal his servant. As I traveled in my pilgrimage through Ionian village to visit many different churches and monasteries, there was an icon that crossed my eye. And this icon was of Saint Sisoy, as we say in Greek. And what perplexed me about this icon, as is also depicted in your handout today, giving a little small excerpt of his life, what astonished me about this icon is that when we see the lives of the saints depicted, they're usually standing, giving a blessing, holding the gospel, or even the example of St. Helen holding the cross. But in this icon of St. Sisoy, his arms are perplexed, and he is looking upon a grave. He's looking upon the tomb. And so, realizing that this is not the usual icon, from my years as a counselor at Ionian Village, I needed to find out who this person was. Because Saint Sisoy is depicted in the icon in this way. Because he too had a moment where he realized something. He too, like the centurion, had that epiphany that he realized who God was in the, in the icon. He is depicted over not just any tomb, but that of Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great, if we know our history, spread Hellenism, and historians believe that he ruled and had control and authority over the largest portion of the world that any other ruler has ever known. That Saint Alexander the Great we consider to be the Great because he had a grand empire that covered a vast majority of our planet. He is depicted because Saint Sisoy had a revelation that looking upon the grave of Saint Alexander, of Alexander the Great, excuse me, that he was just bones. That even a man such as powerful and strong and with such great authority as, Saint, as Alexander the Great still could not escape death. He still faced the same life the same end as we all do. And inscribed in the inscriptions on the icon, it says, Sisoy the Great among ascetics stood before the tomb of Alexander, emperor of the Greeks, who at one time had shone with glory. 
and horrified by the inexorable passing of time and the vanity of the transient world, lo, he cried aloud, Beholding you, O grave, I fear the judgment of God, and I weep, for the common destiny of all mankind comes to the world. O death, who can escape you? I pray that through this example of disciples, and through the example of the centurion that we heard today in today's gospel reading, that we come to mind and try to grasp within our hearts our own epiphany, our own revelation. Because for each of us, it is different. For each of us, the reason why we follow our lives according to the teachings of Jesus Christ is an individual reason and a personal reason which we all must struggle to obtain and understand. And we have the example of those scripture readings, with the example of the saints like Saint Chisoy, that we may also realize the authority, the love, and the mercy that is with God and Jesus Christ. Because none of us can escape death, but also none of us can escape the opportunity of eternal life. Amen. Please rise.